Mmm. I love it. Oh, so it's got a little kick to it. It's got kick. So here's the deal. I'm a fan of Sneaky D's. You used to I play come, here a lot? You used to come here a lot? I just come here and okay. we hang out. It's like one of my favorite spots in Toronto. Right. And um, I think that they probably caught wind of that because I always tweet about them and everything. And this, they asked if they, we wanted to do an, a collaborative nacho. And we did. And so I just came and tested a whole bunch of stuff and they had some ideas. It's not, it's not my ideas, it's the, the chefs here. Right. And then I, we just kind of put the elements together that I liked. And Which are what? So there's like so this, when people come like, to Sneaky D's, they need to order the cactus and the Mali nachos. Yes. And what do they get? So you're gonna get basically what's on the King's Crown, which is the famous nacho from here. So it's it's cheese, uh, cheese in the sauce, and the guacamole and sour cream, and you get the salsa. Mm -hmm. And but you also get this chicken, which is kind of southwestern and kind of spicy. Yeah. And there's rice as well. And there's you can, rice. You can choose oh, if yeah, you want beef either. Yeah. So there's there's rice. So it's very like a, a southwestern version of the the classic Sneaky D's nachos, which is like. Cacti in the valley. Have you added these? Uh, this is a stupid question. We're going to go with it anyway. Have you added the ingredients into the song when you sing it live? Um, you sneak like I a verse should. In. You should. So the rice finally found me. Exactly. And left me in the guac. <laughs> Does it sound good?